So I want to talk a little bit about Lloyd Austin. Yes, you guys know who he is. The Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, who was in hospital, as we remember, and didn't tell anybody in Biden's administration. So therefore, many of us were kind of concerned that our country had no Secretary of Defense and somehow this was normal and they just played it down. Of course, Biden's camp did not seem to want to indulge us with any of the details around why the, um, our defense secretary was out. Now, obviously, he's back in the hospital. They said uh, updated February 12th as I was looking online to find out where is he right now? Is he back to work or we, do we have somebody running our defense, you know? Um, and it said that he was transported to the hospital on Sunday due to symptoms suggesting an emergent bladder issue, uh, as stated by the Pentagon. Also on Sunday afternoon, he, um, Lloyd Austin, de delegated duties of his office to Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks. Now, um, Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder announced that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff the White House and Congress were informed of the situation. As of Sunday evening, Austin remained hospitalized, according to the Pentagon. Now, this announcement came shortly after Austin's diagnosis of prostate cancer. If you guys remember, in early December, with a hospital hospitalization on December 22nd for a related procedure, um, he transferred his authority to Hicks the next day, but neither she nor President Biden were aware of the hospitalization. He was readmitted on January 1st due to complications from the initial procedure, with Biden learning of this hospitalization on January 4th. You tell me how that is not sus as hell. Anyways, the Congress members have criticized Austin for not disclosing his diagnosis and treatment to the president, and lawmakers leading to Austin holding a press conference to apologize earlier this month. The Pentagon disclosed that Lloyd Austin was taken to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center by his security detail on Sunday afternoon. Here's the frustration I have with what's going on with uh, Lloyd Austin. It's like now up to the American people to keep tabs on this guy. He's in the hospital, he's out of the hospital, he's in the hospital, he's out of the hospital. We don't know if he's telling the truth about his condition. If you were just some regular lay person at home, you don't need to disclose anything. We don't need to know how your mental uh, capabilities are. We don't need to know how you are doing overall. It's up to you to disclose that. But this man is the defense secretary. And this is an important job, especially given the conditions that we're living in right now with all of the, the wars that this government and this administration has, in my opinion, started. So there's something very off here. And I don't think a lot of Americans are really paying attention but when you see people coming out, like, you know, just recently we had Speaker Johnson come out talking about our uh, national security threat. These are things I'm paying attention to. We're living in a, in a state of constant fear. And it's like, what, I just want off the merry-go-round. Tell us what's going on. Either appoint somebody else for this position or, you know, be transparent enough to where you give us enough um, security to know that there's nothing wrong with your health. But if this man goes back into the hospital again, and considering all the statements that's come out of this, that they're, they were saying at one point, allegedly, he, he was in critical condition, um, is what some of these articles were saying, and they, they didn't know. They were like, it's an indefinite amount of time this man could be in here. Like, be transparent with the people, you know? You got people living in these big cities that are at high risk for something happening. Even small cities are concerned, but let's be real. You know, where is the most populated people in this country? New York, LA, come on. So let's just be transparent with the American people. And I think Biden needs to hold him accountable. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Um, please watch my other video about him. I'm going to post separate for you guys about how he, get, how he created all this wealth for himself in this position. Have a great day and remember, think for yourself.